Hi, I'm Tim Stevens. Um, this is the International Primary Care Clinic. Um, let me show you a look at where I work here. Please follow me. Uh, this is our uh, waiting area. When the patients come in, uh, we first um, have our nurse to receive them here. When the patients come in um, to be seen, we usually have them come and see our nurse here first in the nurse triage area. Hi, Linda. <laughs> And um, as you can see, we have um, patients coming from all over the world. Um, so after, after the patient has um, seen the nurse, then um, we go to the consultation room over this way. Um, as you can see, we have you know, a standard consultation room with all of the necessary equipment to do routine exams. And we also have an electronic uh, medical health record. Now we are here in the consultation room of Dr. Tim Stevens. Dr. Stevens, can you please introduce yourself to us? Yes, uh, thank you, Laura. Uh, yeah, hi, my name is Tim Stevens. I'm an American family physician uh, from the Boston area, and I've been working in Hainan here at the Heiko People's Hospital International Primary Care Clinic uh, for the last seven years. All right, Doctor, and can you tell us what brought you to practice medicine in Thailand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for the question. Um, my, you know, my previous work in America, I was working as a family doctor, and there was a Chinese doctor who came over to study family medicine in um, at my university, and so we met, and you know, we kept in touch, and they, of course, invited me to come to China and see what was going on here. As you know, that doctor and her family moved to uh, Hainan. Um, then um, they invited me to come visit here, and I, you know, I found not only was it a beautiful environment, but the people were so lovely, and I also had the opportunity to work with these great colleagues um, to do clinical work and also teaching the doctors. So it was just like a perfect match. What a profound experience! Mm -hmm. And what would you say are the key differences compared to your experiencing uh, practicing medicine in America? There's, there's a few a few differences. Um, one would be is that people are very um, comfortable with and familiar with traditional Chinese medicine here. So actually, uh, many of my patients are using both Western and Chinese medicine in their treatment. And so for me as a Western doctor, I need to be um, having an open mind. Um, another thing that's different is that many patients in China don't have their own personal doctor. Whereas in, in the U.S., most people have their own family doctor or um, like a GP in, in Australia or England. And, um, and so in China, that's still a new concept for most people. Um, the other thing is this uh, was surprising to me, but is, is a strength of the system here, is the, um, the capacity to really do things very quickly. So, um, for example, in America, I might be ordering a test or referring to a specialist consultant and the patient may be waiting days or weeks for those things. Here, often we can get things done in the, on the same day. And so there's that efficiency that's actually um, even better than what we are able to do many times in the US. So that's been, that's been a, a great benefit to my work here in China because it means we can reduce some of the delays in care. So uh, I'm well aware that you are quite proficient in Chinese. Mm -hmm. And is there any kind of problems that surface with regards to a language barrier when you are treating your Chinese patients? Um, yeah, you know, um, it's funny at the beginning, <laughs> when I first came to China, um, I had very little Chinese language ability. So I really relied on my colleagues to translate. Um, anytime we saw a patient together, um, we, were, we were translating back and forth. And it's easy to lose some things in translation. You know, as, um, as my language ability has gotten better, um, it's been wonderful because I just hear so much more depth of the stories of the local people that I'm talking to, and I'm getting a deeper understanding of the culture. Um, and, you know, there are, there are different views in terms of the Eastern and Western way of viewing the body. And so it's really been a learning experience for me to see, you know, how the people view illness and, um, and treatment, and how can I, um, you know, uh, improve upon my own understanding of those things so that we can meet in the middle. So I was asking, is there any 
，我还有点要高，我可以先再给你看一个单。你可以问一下超生科那边能不能给给你拍一下这个 B 超，不是说不能吃，只是少吃就可以了。嗯、um, ，What was it like to be quarantined after your return from overseas in February? Yeah, I it was it was a little bit、um, anxiety provoking when we came back. It was on February fourth.、Um, we'd been away at a previously planned you know, holiday in Malaysia. We were very impressed, you know, by the professionalism when we got to the Haiku Airport, the international terminal. Just the way that they processed everybody、um, quite efficiently but safely.、Um, we actually found the time at home was a really good opportunity for us to spend time with our children and to,、um, you know,、um, really just enjoy some family time and, and do some household projects. And would you say there are any breakthroughs or? Highlights that featured at your work here during this epidemic pandemic period. You know, as a family physician,、um, I not only think about you know my individual patients, but I think about the health of the community that I'm serving. For example, having、um, the opportunity you know to give a lecture and questions and answers to the international business community was a, was a great chance for me to dialogue with people、um, and doing some basic. Public health education for people.、Um, this has been a great chance for me, even though I wasn't、um, involved in directly caring for the patients with COVID-19. I could still be engaging with the broader community in a preventive manner. I think、um, for many years people have talked about the potential for telemedicine and for online、um, consultations, but there hasn't been the enormous uptake of that in the past as there has been. It's, it's been necessary during this time when we couldn't have as many face-to-face -face interactions, and I, I think that'll really be a positive step going forward. People can have, a, we can now have a better understanding of the appropriate use of, of that technology.、Um, it's it's a unique time, you know. We we need to remain vigilant and to just、um, I think just pay attention to the news because. China has done such a good job of providing open information during this time about new cases being reported and making the public aware.、Um, I think Hainan, you know, has been able to so far do a very good job controlling the situation here. The risk is not completely gone now. There may still be that chance, and so just to have a slightly more cautious approach than we would have. We aimed at building a top-end free trade port、mm. with world-class med medicinal standards. Yet there is still a lot of room for improvement. So, what would you suggest we still need to implement here you know, to perpetuate us closer to that goal?、Um, this is this is a really key、um, part of the free trade ports development.、Um, the you know the international business community. Um, and many,、um, you know, scientific or other um, expert um, scholars that might come to Hainan to do、um, to do work or research or collaboration.、Um, I have to say, you know, I've been impressed by the progress that's already been made, especially in some of the larger hospitals like my own. Not only in terms of、um, new technology and new treatments that are available. Um, but also,、um, you know, an awareness of international standards of care. I think、um, one of the goals is not only to provide high quality care, but it's also to provide the care in a way that is familiar to、um, people coming from other countries,、um, particularly、um, Western countries that have a certain way of, of receiving healthcare.、Right. Um, This will make the whole process、um, easier for people to、um, just quickly、um, get integrated into the system. So、um, the other, you know, big opportunity in Hainan is this Boal International Medical Tourism Zone、um, in Luchang. They, you know, already have started developing a number of、um, hospital facilities there, and I think there will be、um, a lot of opportunity for some research. And also for new、um, treatments that may not be available in China yet, but are you know some new things available in Western countries. I think if there's a way to continue developing these, so that、um, the Boal area has、um, some unique、um, services it's providing that are not available elsewhere in the surrounding region, 
this could be a, um, a big opportunity for, you know, for future growth and innovation. And um, recently the Highland Free Trade Port posted a series of globally oriented recruitment advertisements. Mm -hmm. And they promoted positions for nurses and doctors alongside other professions. So as a doctor, what would you like to say to foreigners who would like to come here to develop their careers? I, I think number one is just um, for people that are really interested in broadening their cultural horizons, that are interested in those um, those yet to be discovered ways that um, Western and Eastern medicine could be integrated. This is a great opportunity to come and, and learn more about how that might work. Um, the other thing is that um, the you know the, the local people here are, are so friendly, and so and that with the beautiful environment, um, there's a there is a great opportunity for a good quality of life here. Um, so for me, you know, I found that there's. There is that opportunity for a good work-life balance, and um, and that's certainly a very attractive thing for many for many people. The um, like I mentioned about some of these um, institutes that are that are being developed, um, I think there will also be future opportunities for collaboration with world-renowned institutions to do some kind of special um, innovative work here. And Dr. Stevens, you not only happen to be an, a doctor with an outstanding academic education as well as international experience in professing in medicine and treatment, but you are also the husband to a remarkable wife, I believe. So if you don't mind telling me, how have they played a role in your life? Um, yeah, you know, my wife and I, um, we've, um, we, we met in university and she was studying Chinese at the time. Um, it was through her experience coming as an exchange student to China one summer that um, she grew to love China and the Chinese people. And so it really you know, was because of that experience of hers that we decided, you know, even this was before we were married, that um, we would look at this possibility of coming to China. And so it really evolved into a dream for us you know, at that time. And it, it took, you know, um, it took more than 10 years after um, many other things in life that we finally did come and realize that dream here. But we've really just been so affirmed that that was the right decision for us and our family. Our children, you know, um, our two older boys had, were born in the Boston area and came here as young children. Um, so they've grown up here basically from when they can remember that um, Hainan is their, is their home. Um, and our youngest boy, you know, our, our third son, Ezekiel, he was born here. And so he um, is really, you know, um, had his, pretty much his, his entire life you yeah. know, here in China. Um, so it's great for us to see um, them, you know, talking in Chinese with their local, with their classmates, um, to see um, even them learning a few of the local Hainanese dialect, um, these words. Yeah, the, the whole um, time, I think, in terms of our family life has really been a really good time in our lives. So it's been a pleasure and an honor to interview Dr. Tim Stevens today, who means so much to our foreign community as well as the local community here. I can personally testify to their being healing in just his words and also his genuine concern for people. So we are waiting for you here at Hainan Free Trade Port. Yeah, thank you, Laura, and um, it's been a pleasure to talk with you today. Um, I, um, I hope to see you all in, here in Hainan, and um, you don't have to wait to find me in the hospital. Um, <laughs> I'd be happy to see you out and about, maybe at the beach or the park when I'm, I'm out there with my family. So um, we welcome you to Hainan to the Free Trade Port.